G'day, Josh Jamelli here from Condition Group's Farming Ahead magazine. And uh, we're doing a few workshop tips uh, with thanks to Herod Forbes, uh, who kindly sponsor the segment. And I thought today we'd actually have a play with uh, a tool from uh, Heron Forbes Machinery Warehouse. And uh, that is this chassis hole punch. It's a pretty uh, interesting looking piece of gear, but basically it uh, enables you to press large diameter holes. Uh, and this particular uh, item will do up to 3.5 mils in mild or stainless steel. Essentially it's a jack, a uh, little hand operated jack here and a ram which is set up to pull and it brings a cutting edge and a die together either side of the steel and just presses out um, I suppose what is really just a large washer. Anyway, we've already drilled an 11 and a half mil hole here with a standard drill bit uh, so that's all you need to start with. Use a small arbor, attach it to Attach it to the uh, hole punch. Pretty much just screw that up hand tight if you need to. It's just this adapter sleeve goes on there. We choose the smallest die to start with. So if we want a large hole, we've got the choice of drilling a large hole with drill or using the punch to actually take out enough to put the larger arbor through. And if you can see this from underneath, what we have here, screw the cutting edge up on the thread until it contacts, okay, put our safety glasses on. Now this jack can sort of be positioned uh, whenever, wherever is sort of appropriate and uh, we just start pumping. And there you go. That's our smallest hole there. That's 22 and a half mils. We'll take this undone and I can show you what it cuts out. That there is actually a little piece of metal. That's a larger one there. Okay, so if we want to now go to a larger hole, remove this adapter and put the big fella in. Screw that all the way up. Make sure we've opened the jack back up. And uh, so we can grab another um, die. This is the, uh, that's a 50 mil. Put that on there. So now that will fit through the hole we've just pressed. Screw the cutting edge up from underneath. But there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Now, of course, the beauty about this is it can be done anywhere in situ. So good for you know, a situation where you can't actually get uh, any kind of cutting tool in like a, a drill. Make sure that's turned on, safety specs on and start pumping. This will take a little bit more force than the previous one we did. But there you go, you can feel it starting to cut. And there we go. Pretty easy, that's three and a half uh, mil thick mild steel. So uh, pretty easy way of uh, boring a large diameter hole through sheet metal and uh, certainly leaves a much nicer edge than if you're using a bimetallic hole saw for instance. Thanks for watching.